I, I guess the you know right out of the gate, just what what's the challenge in facing a team twice in three weeks? And I, I guess you're way ahead of where you would be uh, a normal week because you just played them a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, it definitely slims down the preparation a little bit just with the familiarity. You know, I've watched a ton of games before. Uh, we played them a couple weeks ago. Obviously, only played one game uh, other than the game that we played. So um, not as much tape to watch, new tape to watch. Uh, but they know us. We know them. Uh, it's just going to be a, a matter of who can go out and execute and uh, play the cleanest football game. Uh, Jeff? Sorry, you say Joe? Joe Rapshrug, yep. Sorry, sorry about that. Sometimes I, I hear Jim when you say Joe. Hey, Ryan, I just wanted to ask you about uh, David Questenberry, him having to come in, you know, on that drive and, of course, being a part of those, you know, the, the two drives there for touchdowns. What did you see from him? What have you seen from him in terms of just trying to be ready for opportunities like that? David came in and did a great job for us. You know, he's a guy who we have a lot of familiarity with being here at least as long as I've been here. I don't know how long he's actually been here, but been here at least the past two years. So a lot of familiarity with him. He knows our system. We're, we're extremely comfortable with him just stepping in and, and filling that role for us. So, you know, excited to have a guy that knows exactly what we're trying to do, how we're trying to play, and to be able to go in there and execute. Uh, Teresa? Ryan, how how helpful is it, to, though, to play a team uh, with the division uh, lead back on the line again within three weeks uh, to, to try to maybe make up for what happened in that second half uh, here on a Thursday night? Yeah, like I said, the, the preparation isn't quite as uh, new, obviously. Like I said, they know us. We know them. It's a tough team. They're well coached. They're disciplined. They play extremely hard, uh, a lot like the Titans. So. It's going to be a matter of who can play for four quarters, come out, start the game good, and then be able to, to finish it there in the second half. You know, we did some good things in the first half last time we played them and didn't come out and play good football in the second half. So a ton of respect for this team, and we're going to have to go out and play four quarters. Uh, Buck? Yeah, Ryan, with with their defense, it, it seems like they don't they don't really try to disguise too much. It seems like they're very just disciplined in, in what they're asked to do on a week by week basis. How much how much have you seen that defense kind of change from when they added Buckner to the to the one that you faced maybe last year? I mean, maybe it's changed a little bit, but uh, they've been well coached. Uh, you know, these last two years that, that I've I've gone up against them. You know, they're they're discipline and how they play they will they will disguise some and um, throw in some blitzes on third down they're going to show you a lot of different looks in that third and medium uh, to long range and uh, make it tough on you they have you know, every pressure in the book um, so it, it's definitely uh not an easy defense to prepare for but uh, like i said they're they're disciplined they're well coached and they they know exactly what they're doing so we have to go out and know what we're doing and do it at a better level than they do uh, Terry, Ryan, when you play a team twice in three weeks like this, is it are there things that are easier to go back and prepare for because it's still fresh in your mind rather than being removed six or seven weeks removed a lot of times? Yeah, no doubt. It's it's fresher in your mind. Obviously, the preparation, what you did beforehand, the game, how it played out, and then um, the new tape. You know, only one game of of new tape to watch. So, yeah, I think. It's fresher. You know, it's able to uh, to come to you quicker, but you know it works both ways. So I don't think there's there's you know any advantage on one side or the other. It's just a matter of, of going out and who can play the best football. Uh, John Glenn, Ryan, I'll, I'll say in advance. I'm not trying to jinx you with this question, but um, been been very healthy. Uh, you know since uh, been here with the Titans, and I know that I wasn't hasn't always been the case in in your career. Uh, you know, I've, I've heard from time to time people say that there is at least maybe some skill in, in staying healthy, not not getting injured. Do you believe that's the case or, or is it all just is it all just chance? Do you think? I think a lot of it's chance. Uh, some of it's definitely just being aware, being able to uh, try to take less hits, get the ball out, not take not take sacks and um, you know, be able to pick your feet up in the pocket when it's crowded. So you're not rolling ankles and, and knees. So there is a little skill to it, but I think a lot of it's chance and, you know, just how, how things play out. Thanks. 
there about far. Ryan, how much is uh, how much is patience a virtue against this defense? I mean, your yards per play against them in the first meeting was be- below normal. Here, do they do they make you sort of have to work your way down the field patiently? Yeah, like I said, they're they're a well coached team. You know, they do a great job of, of being in the right spot, being in the right gap, having the right fit in the run game. They're not going to give you anything cheap. So, like I said, it's it's going to be a matter of who can go out and execute. You know, can we? make the plays when we have opportunities to come up, you know, last time we played them, I felt like we, we missed some opportunities uh, to get bigger chunks, whether in the run game or the pass game. And um, it's going to come down to being able to make those plays when those opportunities arise and then, you know, just grind out, you know, if they're going to make it tough to run, then we're going to have to stay efficient and, and just keep plugging away. I think that's it. Actually, I've got one more for you. I don't know if you saw on Twitter, did you see, uh, one of your former teammates at AM was uh, Aaron Brewer's high school coach. See that? <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I, uh, I talked to Aaron a little bit about that. You know, pretty cool that we have that connection. It makes me feel old, though, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you. Oh, all right, I, thank you. you had one. Hey, I, I, got, I got one if you got time. Fire away, John. I, I, you, you, I guess ever since you started playing quarterback, you've had, I guess, relationships with centers that probably go beyond football. I mean, what's it take? What's a quarterback center relationship like? And maybe where does Ben Jones fit in maybe where that ideal relationship is? Yeah, it's it's a very important relationship. You know, you, you talk about uh, the two guys up front are communicating the most, making sure that the entire offense is on the same page, whether it's going to the right guy in, in the, the run game or the pass game changing protections, corner center back have to be on, on the same page really the entire game. So definitely a, a close relationship and a very important one. So I'm thankful to have a guy like Ben, the guy that really puts his heart and soul into, into the game, loves the game of football, goes out and, and prepares each and every week, you know, like it's going to be his last week and, and lays it on the line each and every week. So, um, you know, thankful and honored to be able to share the field with him.